now we can talk lots about Alma. It's a multifaceted story. It's now a reality, and it's not anymore a fairy tale. We have 20 nationalities on staff. So it's a very multicultural enterprise. Alma is coming into its existence thanks to many, many people, visionary scientists, engineers who 20, 30 years ago had a vision to build Alma and realized that collaboration was the key word there. We have many dedicated technicians, engineers, scientists, administrators, and what was also very important is that we had a steady funding. The funding agencies over all these years kept supporting Alma. And I also want to give special thanks to Alma staff. Alma staff not only in Chile, but also in the Northern Hemisphere centers. Because Alma, I think, is built by people, with people, and for people. Let me start with the Alma science. Uh, Alma contributes over the wide variety of science. For example, cosmology, uh, our universe, and also uh, clinical nuclei, and also chemistry uh, to the uh, planetary science. And Alma uh, challenges uh, basic quests unresolved President Piñera has talked about 2013 being the year of innovation. And ALMA will not only lead to major innovations, in the process of doing that, it will also lead to many, many seemingly smaller innovations which will improve humanity. I'm also delighted to see growth in the astronomy programs in Chile at the universities and other institutions. And NSF is very proud to be a partner of this. The benefits of ALMA resonate all over the world, as we have already seen. And I personally believe that good science anywhere is good for science everywhere. In addition, I would argue that good science anywhere is good for innovation everywhere. Greetings from the International Space Station. I'm Expedition 34 Flight Engineer Tom Marshburn with my crewmate, Chris Hadfield of the Canadian Space Agency. As we look down upon the magnificent Atacama Desert high in the Chilean Andes, we can see the results of an immense effort by the nations of the world to study the universe in new ways. Today, a giant telescope called ALMA, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, is being inaugurated. Comprised of 66 large radio dishes spread across miles of high altitude desert, ALMA is opening a new frontier. We congratulate the scientific communities of North America and Europe and East Asia on today's achievement. All the very best to you and enjoy your new discoveries. Now back to the Earth <laughs> from the <laughs> space station. As I am sure you know, ALMA has three roots in Japan, the United States, and Europe. I have heard that Japanese astronomers conceived of a large-scale array like ALMA back in 1983. At around the same time, astronomers in the United States and Europe were moving ahead separately with their own respective plans for a telescope. But then the three groups began to exchange the ideas and data freely in the spirit of the openness of scientific research. By doing so, the scientists improved and refined their respective plans by incorporating the strong points of the other plans. As a result, the three plants became closer to each other. Then something like a chemical reaction occurred. The three groups united to merge their projects into one with the sole aim 
of building a truly powerful telescope. Here, I can see the beauty of science at work. I am also proud to say that Japanese industry played key roles in some important areas in the construction of ALMA, such as the design, assembly of the precision antennas, and the development and the building of a dedicated ultra-high-speed computer called the Correlator. This inauguration ceremony is an important milestone for ALMA, but this certainly not the end. It is the start of a great scientific adventure. I sincerely hope ALMA will be operated in the best and most secure way and will continue to make discoveries that will provide a vital base for the advancement of the humankind's knowledge in the 21st century. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Arigato gozaimashita. The development of infrared detectors in the past 40 years made it possible to start peering deeper and deeper into the dusty and cold regions of the universe where stars form, and also to study objects all the way back at the beginning of time, deep into the universe. The community engaged in this effort realized it could do even better, look even better into the universe, by capitalizing on the development of submillimeter technology. And as a result of all this effort, the European optical and millimeter communities very naturally integrated. And the logical next step was to increase the resolution and the sensitivity by going from single dishes to an interferometer on a really high site with the best high frequency receivers that can be built. The power of an interferometer, I should correct myself, the power of a radio interferometer goes up with the square of the number of antennas. So by joining the worldwide ALMA array, the ALMA partnership, it was possible to build a much more powerful machine than any of the three regions could have built to, uh, separately. We are very proud to inaugurate this great project in which so many people have worked so hard for so long. And I would like to tell that this is not only the strongest observatory in the world, I think it's much more than that. It's the best expression of the willing and the commitment of the humankind to learn more, to explore the universe, to learn about the origin of the universe and the origin of life. And because ALMA will allow us to get deeper into this universe, but also to get deeper into our own nature and our own life. I think that this project is much more than just a scientific project. I would like to tell you that maybe the Chilean people, that native Chilean people that lived here since 10,000 years ago knew this from the beginning because the, the plateau where the antennas are placed is called Shananto, which is now in our native language means point of depart, point of observation. So they knew it. They knew it from ever that this day would happen. For those reasons, I would like to commit ourselves because we, the Chilean government and the Chilean people are fully committed with the effort that you are doing. We know that Chile is a very small country, but in, in terms of astronomy, with your help, we want to become a real giant. Long live to Alma and thank you very much. Atención, sala de control. Autorización concedida. Apuntar alma al centro galáctico.
and I would like to send my congratulations to Alma because of this wonderful milestone on the inauguration of Alma yesterday. Especially, I would like to congratulate my Japanese colleagues for their hard work on Alma to be able to be um, to have this wonderful and powerful instrument working from now on. Thank you.